Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss how to prepare for aptitude in a limited time. So like I have appeared for GATE 4 times, first while I was in my third year, then while I was in my final year and while doing MTech also I appeared for GATE, CSE and GATE DA. In all these 4 attempts I have scored almost full marks in aptitude. So I will tell you how you can quickly prepare for aptitude and uh, I will tell you some free resources also from where you can prepare the topics and also from where you can practice the questions for aptitude and I will give you a list of some topics like uh, which you must know before like going to the exam okay and uh, like I have one short notes also for aptitude that I have followed during my preparation so you can also follow them so let's just see one by one we can uh, categorize the aptitude syllabus for GATE into four major parts that are analytical aptitude, quantitative aptitude, special aptitude and verbal aptitude. So from analytical aptitude till now there has been 96 total questions across all the branches of GATE. So like from GATE CSE, GATE mechanical, GATE civil and across all the branches of GATE these are the total number of questions that came from analytical aptitude. And similarly for quantitative aptitude, there has been 516 total questions till now, okay. And this special aptitude is a newly added topic that has been added I think like 2 years back in the GATE syllabus. So that's why there are very less number of questions till now from special aptitude. And now coming to verbal aptitude, there are total 320 questions, okay. So let's just see uh, all of them one by one. And now I will tell you like what type of questions are there from all these four portions and how you can prepare for them. Okay. So firstly talking about this analytical aptitude. So there are questions like statements, argument, puzzles and all. Okay. So basically uh, there might be some statements given to you, some arguments given to you and based on those uh, statements and argument you have to draw some conclusions and answer the questions. Okay. And also there are some puzzles and games. Okay. So all these types of questions comes under the analytical aptitude. So you have to understand and evaluate the logical statements. Okay. So the questions based on the logic comes under this analytical aptitude. Okay. Now talking about quantitative aptitude. So in quantitative aptitude, there are questions from number systems, arithmetic, algebra and data interpretation. So in number system, like I haven't seen much questions from these uh, real numbers, integers and all. Basically, like most of the questions are based on these percentage, profit and loss, ratio and proportion, etc. Okay. And uh, the next set of questions come from this algebra that are like uh, questions involving some linear or quadratic equations and the inequalities. And the next type of questions are like some tables or some graphs like uh, bar graph or pie charts are given to you and like based on those tables and graph you have to answer the questions. Okay, so you must understand like how to read the data from tables and graphs. Okay, so this is about quantitative aptitude. Now coming to special aptitude. So in special aptitudes the questions are like uh, some shapes are given to you, some patterns are given to you. They will say when I rotate this uh, like shape by 60 degree let's say and then if I take the mirror image of that shape then how the shape will look like okay. So the types of questions like mirror imaging, this translation, rotation, scaling etc comes under this special aptitude okay. So yeah like these types of questions are also there like given some paper on that paper we draw some pattern then we fold it like three times or four times then we cut something then how the final paper will look like okay so like these types of questions comes under this special aptitude so for this like you don't have to study anything you can just practice some of the questions from special aptitude but like there is nothing to study explicitly okay so now what to study that i will tell you so before that like from verbal aptitude there are questions from like English grammar, vocabulary and reading comprehension. So they will ask you for the synonyms, antonyms of some words, word meanings of some word and sentence completion etc. This all comes under this verbal aptitude. Now let's just see what to prepare. Okay. So this is just kind of a checklist. So if you want to cover aptitude quickly, what I will suggest is you just do practice all the PYQs across all the branches of GATE. Okay. Now some people here might be like they are not able to solve the PYQs. Okay. So what you can do is 
like just see the question okay and see the solution for all those questions okay and see the approach how people are solving those questions okay but still if you don't get it what you can do you just first watch the video lectures of the aptitude okay of the topics and then jump to the questions so let's just talk about the topics like which topics you should know okay like for aptitude there is no explicit syllabus that is mentioned but uh, still these are the topics that you must know so first one is hcf and lcm okay so this is just a basic one and uh, then comes ratio and proportions so this is some uh, this is a confusing topic for some of the people but there has been a lot of questions based on this ratio and proportions in aptitude so if you don't know much about this ratio and proportions you can just watch any video on youtube and then you can practice the question on this ratio and proportions the next is simple interest and compound interest so again there has been a lot of questions from the simple interest and compound interest so again like people get confused in this compound interest okay so you must know the formulas for the simple and compound interest and just practice some questions of for this simple and compound interest so you will get a good grip on this topic okay and after that uh, there is time and work so this is also a confusing topic for a lot of people so you can just watch some videos and then you can practice some questions for this time and work relations okay and next is the speed distance so again here you just have to know some basic formulas of speed, uh, speed and distance and uh, if you are not able to solve the questions from the speed distance topic just uh, like watch some lectures okay just remember the formulas and then solve the questions okay and the next is number system so in number systems what you should know is like uh, some uh, basic conversions like binary to decimal decimal to binaries you just know some basic things like what is a binary number what is a decimal number and all okay and the next is upstream and downstream so the river crossing questions that are related to boat and all so in those questions these terms are used that is upstream and downstream so you must know about these topics okay about upstream and downstream if you don't know and then comes the blood relations so in blood relations basically you should know the terminology at least if some question came asking uh, like about some blood relations then you must know the terms like who is a nephew who is a niece etc okay and then comes this direction sense so again like if like a lot of people confused in this thing also okay they just got confused where is east where is west so just uh, check this one if you if you are also confused in that the next is apgp that is arithmetic and geometric progression so in this also you must remember the formulas for this apgp how you will get the sum of the series okay so the next is percentages again like if you are not very confident about this percentages topic you can watch any lecture on youtube okay and after that we have bar charts and pie charts so again there are some uh, bar charts and pie charts will be given to you now how to like gather the information from this bar charts and pie charts and based on those charts how you can calculate the percentages and all so you just practice some questions based on this okay the next is calendar problem so in the calendar problem what they ask is basically they will ask they will give you a particular date particular future date of particular past date and they will ask you which day was there on that particular day if it was sunday if it was monday etc okay so for this also like you have to watch some videos okay for this calendar problem for solving the calendar problem there is a particular procedure to know like which day will uh, will be there on a particular date okay so the next is cards so in cards you must know like what all is there in a deck of cards so there are how many kings how many queens are there okay and what types of cards are there to solve the problems related to cards the next is clock so in clock problems they might ask what will be the angle between the two hands of a clock when like given some time let's just say 9:15 so what will be the angle between two hands of a clock okay so these types of question comes from this clock and coming to logarithms so about logarithms you should also know the some properties of logarithms okay and practice some questions on this logarithms okay so there has been questions based on the properties of log 
ओके एंड देन कम्स द सेट थ्योरी सो यू जस्ट नो सम बेसिक ऑफ सेट थ्योरी ओके एंड नेक्स्ट इज नंबर सिस्टम ओके सो दिस इज रिपीटेड ओके नंबर सिस्टम इज देयर ऑल्सो एंड द नेक्स्ट इज परम्यूटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड प्रॉबिलिटी दैट यू मस्ट नो टू सॉल्व द एप्टीट्यूड क्वेश्चन ओके सो जस्ट प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन एंड प्रॉबिलिटी ओके सो यू कैन जस्ट राइट प्रॉबिलिटी ऑल्सो ओके सो दीज आर द टॉपिक्स ओके दैट यू शुड स्टडी ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट लाइक फ्रॉम वेयर यू कैन प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चन इज सी दीज आर द फ्री रिसोर्सेज ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट पी डी एफ दैट इज गेट ओवर फ्लो पी डी एफ सो हेयर यू कैन फाइंड द गेट पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ ऑल दी ब्रांचेज टॉपिक वाइज ओके यू कैन फाइंड टॉपिक वाइज पी वाई क्यूज फॉर ऑल दी ब्रांचेज here on this link i will give these links in the descriptions also and this is the next one that is known as aptitude overflow pdf if you have time and if you want to practice more then you can practice these questions that are the previous year questions of this cat and nilet okay so this is the link for it okay like after this i will show you like how you can download and how you can utilize this pdf also and uh, before that uh, okay like let me just show you this pdf first so when you open this first link okay you will come here and then you have to download the volume 1 okay so these are the gate overflow pdfs for cse you have to download the volume 1 from here and in the volume 1 here you can find the pyqs of all the branches of gate okay so here you can see the analytical aptitude question so these are the topic wise questions that are given to you then you have quantitative aptitude and then the special aptitude and verbal aptitude so you can the practice questions from here if you don't want to watch any lectures you just have to solve some questions what you can do is just uh, pick some topic okay go to that topic let's just say go to calendar okay now in the calendar questions if you click on this question only okay if you click on this question this will take you to the link and here people have answered these questions okay so you can just see the concepts here on this website okay and you can also comment if you have any doubt okay you can see the approaches of different people here okay so that's how you can learn from the questions okay if you want to learn from the questions and uh, after that uh, in the next link if you see this next link was for uh, aptitude overflow pdf so in this pdf you will find the cat and nilet previous year questions you don't have to solve them but like if you want to practice more then you can consider solving them okay so when you click on this pdf so you will get this one that is the aptitude overflow pdf so here also you can find the topic wise uh, practice questions topic wise pyqs of cat and nilet so you can just go to any questions and if you want to see the solution you can just click on this question and then you will you can see the solution for that question okay now if you see uh, in this uh, gate overflow pdf okay so around 60 600 questions you will find okay if you see this okay so these are total like excluding verbal aptitude if we see only analytical quantitative and special aptitude you will see there are around 600 questions okay so even if you every day you solve just 20 questions okay every day if you solve 20 question in one month you will be able to solve all these 600 pyqs okay and this is more than enough for practice okay for get at least and uh, like coming to uh, this verbal aptitude so verbal aptitude i'll just suggest you don't have to study anything explicitly okay people are worried about this verbal aptitude how to study verbal aptitude so every year like one or two questions are there from this verbal aptitude okay now if you want to see some like systematic lecture series for uh, verbal aptitude you can watch that but it will take a lot of time and like then also it is not guaranteed that you will be able to solve the question of verbal aptitude in gate okay so for verbal aptitude you can just practice the questions if you want otherwise i will suggest leave this verbal aptitude just know about some basic grammar rules etc if you want to otherwise just focus on practicing this analytical quantitative and special aptitude okay okay so 
now this is some uh, notes okay that i have followed so uh, these are applied root notes okay so i have i have provided the link in the description also you can check them out there so these are the short notes which contains all the formulas for aptitude okay so you can just have a glance at it uh, if you open that link so this pdf contains all the formulas of these topics okay for aptitude so if you see here all the formulas has been listed okay so this this might be very helpful for you like even i have also followed this pdf okay it contains all the formulas that are required for gait aptitude okay so you can just check that out and uh, after that uh, if you want to watch lectures only if you don't want to like go through the concept with questions then you can just watch some videos and then you can solve the questions so i will recommend you this playlist that is by saurabh thakur okay and uh, you can just watch this crash course uh, playlist or otherwise there is one more playlist by this uh, saurabh thakur sir only so you can just watch it okay and uh, now coming to time management so like while solving the questions okay just consider this also that you practice the questions with limited time okay so you can improve your speed and efficiency okay so just take care of this time management also while solving the questions and yeah again now coming to test like since now one month is only remaining for gate so what you can do is if you don't want to solve the pyqs also if you don't have time to solve the pyqs also what you can do is you can just give some test okay when you give the mock test like i i am assuming that you will be giving 10 to 15 mock test in this 10 to 15 mock test there will be 10 questions from aptitude in every test okay so like if you are able to solve most of these questions then you can consider these test only for the practice of aptitude okay so if you don't want to do anything explicitly if you are able to solve these test questions then you can skip doing the pyqs also since very less time is remaining now okay so like if you want you can just do the pyqs okay and apart from this you don't have to practice any other book for aptitude okay gate pyqs are enough for the practice of aptitude okay if you want you can do the cat and nilet pyqs also okay otherwise you don't have to do anything else apart from this okay so this is more than enough for gate okay so i will provide all these links in the descriptions okay so that's all i have for this video so thank you everyone if you have any doubt related to the gate preparation uh, you can just comment down below in the video okay so yeah thank you everyone